guys, I'm Jackie Downey here with the Red Carpet Report. We're here at UCB's Sunset Location opening, their second location here in LA. I have my life in Chicago. Really? Yeah, I can't get rid of it. I like a Chicago accent. Yeah, well, I get made fun of, you know, you have a couple drinks, people are like, are where are you? from the city or from one of the suburbs? The burbs. Really? Yeah. My girlfriend's from Barrington. Okay, yeah, we played them in lacrosse, but you're from Virginia Beach. No. No? no. Why does it say that on IMDb? I don't know. I don't know. Like I, went to school there. I don't think I've even ever been to Virginia Beach. You're not missing that much. That's such a weird little bit of slander. Like, I would think if someone wanted to spread misinformation about me, they'd go for something much more hardcore, yeah. not just like uh, erroneous place of birth. Well, you're on two hit HBO series right now with Veep oh. and with Silicon Valley. Yeah. How do I get on an HBO series? I mean, I think you just have to be willing to sacrifice any personal value or dignity. You just have to be willing to get it done in whatever morally degra uh, degrading way is asked of you. I mean, I've done things that I can't and won't speak about. Can't wash it away from your memory, it's just stuck. No. I mean, when I shut my eyes, I see just an endless slideshow of uh, moral failings that I had to succumb to in order to get my job. Well, I know you work with Matt Walsh on Veep, but how did you first get your start with UCB? When I was a kid, I wanted to be a jazz musician, and I played trumpet all the time. I was obsessed with it. Then I got braces, I played, uh, and I couldn't play trumpet anymore, so I had all this time when I used to be doing like this nerdy jazz stuff. So I started taking the train into New York. I lived in Pennsylvania. Uh, it would have been a long commute from Virginia Beach. Yeah. I took the train in to New York, and started taking classes, and then I started doing shows there. So I had this sort of secret comedy life in New York, and I never told anyone I went to high school with that I was doing it. So on weekends, I would just go off and have my, like, adventures. New York little weekend. Yeah. I was like Madeline in the city. Thank you. Uh, one of the questions, in LA, we always hear how hard it is to, like, to break into comedy, but now this location is going to open up such a community. How do you feel like this is going to help LA, just all the comedians with improv and sketch? Yeah, I think like one of the challenges of LA is that it feels a little isolating. And so anytime there can be a community of people where you can sort of compare notes and get moral support and be sort of inspired, anytime there's something like that, it helps people out. And I think this will be like a, a great version of that. I personally am going to work pretty hard to undermine that. I feel any new talent is a, a threat. And so I try to sort of kneecap them uh, figuratively or actually literally uh, to So you'll be here them. and you'll be like you're horrible you should just leave right now Yeah you yeah. either go after their confidence and then if they have a good self esteem then you go after their actual physical body um, but uh, yeah yeah, I have. you have to protect your sort of tenuous place in an ever changing world so if We see you following us to the car just run That's right I'm like the uh, Tanya Harding of UCB What an old reference yeah. <laughs> And that's it tonight here at UCB's Sunset Opening. I can't wait to see ASCAT and see what they're bringing for us.